what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive vgc double battles for pokemon brilliant diamond and pokemon shining pearl in today's video we are rocking out with everyone's favorite psychic type we got ourselves an alakazam team you guys are a no deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel let's go people get on top of that i'm bringing you guys the content i know you guys are enjoying it just subscribe and help me grow as a content creator it would really go a long way but uh like i said we're rocking out with alakazam today and everybody loves alakazam such a cool pokemon it's pretty much like a glass cannon it can uh it can hit like a truck but it doesn't really fare too well with taking shots but i still really like using this pokemon and think it's really really cool but let's get started here with today's team preview starting off with alakazam with the focus dash as item we're rocking the magic guard as his ability if you guys do not know what that does the pokemon only takes damage from attack so if he's using life orb if he's uh if he's burned or something he will not take damage from any of that, which is pretty cool i kind of like that ability and last but not least we're rocking the move set of reflect light screen side shock and protect so this thing is pretty much just a support alakazam it's here to set up the screens get some damage off and help support the squad Second Pokemon on the team is going to be our Tailwind Speed Control Pokemon. It is going to be Latia Os over here with Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, Surf, and Tailwind for Speed Control. Really like this Pokemon. Think he's great all around, and he's also a great special attacker. He's like a truck with all of his moves. Ability is going to be that Levitate, so you know we can't get hit by ground moves. And then last but not least, we are rocking a life orb on this Pokemon. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Super Luck Scope Lens Togekiss. Really can't go wrong with this Pokemon. It is super, super strong. Super strong, hits like a truck, and it is great on the support side as well. We got Super Luck as its ability, rocking out with a fairly normal moveset, Dazzling, Air Slash, Follow Me, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is my boy Gyarados over here. Love me some Gyarados. Super, super good all around. It's got the Intimidate, and it can also set up as with Dragon Dance and just run the battle. We got Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, like I already mentioned, and Protect for its moveset. Obviously, Intimidate as its ability. Then, item we are holding is going to be at Lumberry to protect this Pokemon from any status conditions. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is Scizor, dude. Everybody knows Scizor is top tier in BDSP. I just needed a Steel type Pokemon on the team. I was just like, yo, let's rock Scizor. Let's rock Scizor. Considering I already had a Fire Pokemon, I didn't want to roll into Heat Train. I was just like, dude, Scizor fits his team perfectly. We got to use him again. Metal Coat for its item. Technician obviously has his ability. And then normal moveset right there. I'm not even going to say it. Final Pokemon on the squad is my favorite Arcanine set of all time. It just works so well, and you guys cannot deny it. It's Flamethrower, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect. Obviously, Intimidate as its ability. And last but not least, we have the Aquab Berry. This Pokemon is so good at controlling the battles, with physical attack drops with the Intimidates and the Will-O-Wisp burn, and then it also has Snarl just to control special attackers. But guys, there's the team preview. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's get some wins with this Alakazam team. We're going up against a banger of a team in battle number one. We're going up against a Blastoids and Gengar team that also features Cresselia, Garchomp, Obama Snow, and Heatran. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Alkazam is a great lead to set up screens. Super fast Pokemon. Really do like it. 189 speed. That's gorgeous. Let's set up some screens with Alkazam. Uh, I definitely want Scissor in case he brings Cresselia. And then who else do I want? I could leave Gyarados. Gyarados and Latios are not too bad here. Gyarados and Latios are not too shabby. I am definitely, I kind of want to lead this guy this. Maybe set up a screen, set up a Dragon Dance turn one. Could be really, really good for us. I just wonder what he's going to go into. I really do. We could go Scissor turn one. I definitely want Scissor in the back end. I definitely want Scissor in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm leaning towards either Togekiss or Latios. Even though Arcanine's not too shabby. Arcanine's not too bad. I just feel like Latios and Togekiss really pose a threat. Really fast Pokemon can really roll out from there. Hmm. What do I roll with? I'm leaning towards Togekiss here. I don't know why. Togi just seems nice, right? Togi just seems nice, but the Tailwind could definitely come up clutch. So we're going to lock in Latios. We're going to lock it down. Let's run this battle and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But dude, who's he going to lead? Cresselia is always a problem. I really don't like Cresselia. Hopefully he doesn't lead it. Of course he leads Cresselia. So Cresselia comes out here with the lead. We go Gyarados now because I'm going to have to set up a Light Screen, and we're going to have to get rolling from there. So Light Screen's going to come out here. Um, What do we do from here? Do we Dragon Dance? Do we start going after Cresselia? We could really start like getting after Cresselia, which I really like because Cresselia is such a pain. It really is. So White Herb knocks him back. Uh, Light Screen obviously going to set up here. And I'm going to Dragon Dance up. That's my play. He might Trick Room turn one. That can be fine by me. I'm cool with it. I, I just want this attack boost. I really want this attack boost. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to fake me out, you little biscuit. Surprised he faked out him instead of my Alkazan. The fake out comes out here. We're going to set up a lovely little Light Screen. And what is he going to do? Trick Room maybe? Or a Calm Mind setup? He has options. He has options. I'm going to go for Sh Shadow Ball into my Alkazan. Okay, I'm cool with that. So Shadow Ball comes over here. Look at that soak. Easy soak. I'm cool with that turn all day. And of course he gets a stat drop. Come on, man. The special defense drop. We don't like that one bit. All right, from here, we're side shocking. 
We're chipping up some damage, and I'm, I just want to set up a Dragon Dance. I just think Dragon Dance is your call. I want to blow out with that. Alex going to drop this. Let's see how much damage we can do on this thing. Decent amount. Nice little chunk. Yeah, good little chunk. Good little chunk from support Alex Zane. Dragon Dance pokes through here, and I'm, I'm curious about this Cresselia, because I know it can set up a Combine. I know it can pop a Trick Room. All scary options here. All scary options here. This thing's going to go for a Combine. There's a Combine set up. I'm fine with that. Considering I'm going to start using my Gyarados to actually tackle onto that. Physical attacker. Good, and what's Blastoise going for? I feel like Blastoise is just going after Alex Zane. Shell Smash. We're smashing shells here. He is smashing shells. And now that we see him as a threat, we see him as a threat. I'm curious. I am curious. I am curious. So from here, what do we do? We might still be able to outspeed him. I'm gonna try to set up this reflect. We can, just in case he has physical attackers in the back end. And now, no, 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 no. We, 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 got, we, got, we got to deal some damage on this guy. He has a lot of special attackers. Does he have any physical attackers besides Garchomp? Garchomp might be his only one. His only one. We're going to drop a waterfall. We do outspeed. Wow, that's, that's lovely. And we're going to hit a waterfall. Maybe we'll get a flinch and a Scald's going to come in hot. And I think Scald takes it out, right? No, my boy Alkazam eats, which is gorgeous. Alkazam's going to drop a Shy Shock. This guy's defense is down. We might be able to pick up KO. Oh, so close. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And we flinched to Cresselia. That's a huge turn right there. That is a huge turn. Because now I know my Gyarados outspeeds that uh, Blastoids. I'm going to take out Blastoids. And I think I'm going to set up a Reflect this turn. Just in case he wants to reel into Garchomp. So, yeah. I'm just going to drop a Waterfall in the slot. We're going to get rolling. Good old Gyarados. Outspeeding the Blastoids. Blastoids could protect. And he could trick him. But, nah. I don't think he's going to do that. So, Waterfall comes out here. Yeah, eat, send it. Bang. We KO that thing all day. The big time KO. We're going to set up a Reflect this turn. And then Cresselia hopefully can just take out my Alkazam. That would be a lovely turn. That would be a lovely turn. Just take out my Alkazam, please. Shadow Ball. Cool. No! Why are you going after my Gyarados? Why are you going after my Gyarados? We are soaking up shots. But, yo, I want my Alkazam dead. I want him gone. I want him out of here. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what this guy's play is. Why are you going after my Gyarados? I want my, uh, I want my Scissor in at this point. Scissor's just so good. He's gonna throw out Heat Train, and I feel like this is just a this is just a protect read, right? I feel like this is just a protect read. And at this point, you know, I'm just gonna swap into Scissor. And I think he wants to go into a protect, and I'm just gonna drop a waterfall over on the slot. Because there's no way he keeps in the heat trap. With a plus one Gyarados on the field, he's gotta protect and go for Trick Room. Something along those lines, right? There's no way he just stays in with Heat Train. Because at that point, I would just waterfall and just rip into him. Right? There's no way he stays in. He's gotta protect or swap. So. I'm going to swap it through a scissor. We're going to see what he does with Heat Train. He does nothing. He stays in his battle and he rolls from there. And what's he going to go for? Willow Wisp. Cool. We're Lumberry. All right. I'm, I'm with that all. That's a solid turn. This is a solid turn for us. Solid turn. We swap in our scissor. We get him in at a good time. And we're going to Lumberry this out. That's beautiful. I love it. And what's this thing going for? Trick Room. The Trick Room's out. I could protect here. I could chop a, a Waterfall. Um. Hmm. This is tough. This is real tough now. Wow, dude. We can we need that waterfall. We need that waterfall. Light screen's gone too. Light screen's gone. And who's slower? Scissor or Heatran? That's kind of close. I'm hoping Scissor is slower, just so we can deal damage on the Cresselia. But I'm gonna go here and here. Light screen's gone too, which is rough. Scissor is slow. It's cool. Should be able to take this out, right? Get him out of here. Beautiful. So we get rid of Cresselia. I do not mind if Scissor goes down here now. Scissor was basically out here just to do some work on the Cresselia. I'm with that all day. He's going to drop a Heat Wave. That's beautiful. As long as he doesn't get a burn on my Gyarados, I'm thriving. I'm thriving here. Ooh, no burn? No burn? No burn? That's all I need to know. No burn? We thrive. And Waterfall comes out here. I'm going to say bye-bye to Heat Train. That's huge turns for us. Huge turns for us. And battle number one is looking very, very pr promising for us. Very, very promising. We love it. Who's his final Pokemon going to be? Who is his final Pokemon who is it? Is it going to be that Garchomp? I feel like he had to bring the Garchomp, which I'm totally fine with. You have Draco Meteor ready to throw. Ice Fangs ready to roll. It's going to be Gengar. Gengar coming out here. The Gar. Gar coming out here. I'm just going to drop this, and then I'm just going to run to a waterfall. Let's see if he cancels the battle. We're thriving here. No, he stays in. The Gengar's so fast that Latios goes first in the trick room. Bang. Draco Meteor's going to fly. This thing's a glass can. It's going to do some big old damage. It's not even Focus Ash. We take him out just like that. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A battle number one thing. It's time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against another really cool team. This guy has a slacking team with Infernape, Weezing, Shuckle, which I'm kind of scared of because you know Shuckle can, can be a scary Pokemon. And then he's got Togekiss and Dust Noir over here. 
All right, how am I playing this one? How is Jeans rocking into this? Um, I think he's gonna lead the Infernape. I think Infernape's gonna come in here. I kind of want to lead Alakazam again because Alakazam with the screens made my Pokemon super, super bulky. But I think I'm just gonna roll into Arcanine here. Go safe play. Arcanine's really, really good. He can kind of uh, poke out here, start off with an Intimidate. I really do like him. So we're gonna go Arcanine turn one alongside with. Bum, 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 bum. Do I go Scizor? Do I go Latios? Latios with Speed Control could be really, really good. So I think I'm just gonna lead them to rock out with that. Bring Scizor in the back end because, you know. Actually, do, do I even need Scizor? Yeah, he does have that Latios. Or not the Latios. He does have the Togekiss. But do I really need Scissor? I feel like I don't really need Scissor, you know? Scissor could be good. But do I really need him? I kind of want to go Togekiss. Even though Scissor would be better. <laughs> and Scissor's just so strong, dude. I think it's just ridiculously strong. So, you know what? Yeah, we're going in with Scissor. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. You just can't go wrong with Scissor, you know? It's just too strong in this format. It really is. It really is. But he's going to end up leading Shuckle and Dust Noir. And we're not going to pop a uh, Tailwind. We're not popping the tail here. We're just gonna get rolling here. Maybe throw some burns out on the field. Kind of roll off a mirror. Maybe some snarls. We're gonna drop an intimidate turn one and, and just see how this one plays out. Yeah, we definitely do not need the uh We definitely do not need the what's it called? The tailwind. He has a really slow poke. So snarls just gonna poke here. And then we're just gonna roll into maybe a surf could be good, but uh oh, I hate this game. Maybe go look for a freeze. Hate this game, hate this game, hate this game. I, th I think I I brought the wrong Latios. I feel like this is the Latios for like a Storm Drake Ashon because I'm rocking Surf. So I'm not a fan of this right now because I'd rather have like a move like Psychic at this point. Psychic Dragon Pulse, you know, and then like an Ice move. Give me a Freeze though. Give me a Freeze. No Freeze going to pop out of your life. We're going to chip away some damage. And we're going to drop a Snarl. So I'm really curious to see what uh, his Pokemon are going to do. I'm really curious to see what, what's going to happen. We get that special attack drop, which is good. He might be a physical attack. Some Dust and Waters just rock like Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, like physical moves like that. But we'll see in a second. I'm going to go for a Power Trick. The power trick coming out here. He's doing a little flip flop. He's gonna switch his attack and defense. That's fine. Trick room's gonna throw out here. So now this thing's attack is ridiculously high. It is ridiculously high. I'm kind of scared of it, and I kind of want to throw a burn on it. But at the same time, I kind of wanna. What do I want to do? I think I'm just gonna snarl in. Snarl into a uh, another ice beam. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get after a shuffle. I'm not trying to deal with the shuffle. Power trick shuffle. Real threat. Shadow sneaks flying through here. That's easy soaks. We soak that up all day. It's gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Makes me kind of want to throw a burn onto uh, this Pokemon. Yeah, dude, these guys are physical. These guys are ripping with physical moves. These guys are ripping with physical moves. Arcanine flinches. That's whack. And Ice Beam's going to fly through. The Ice Beam's going to drop again. I love how I do like a little back one. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. No freeze going to poke out here. And Trickrum is thriving. Trickrum is out and about. Uh, what do I do from here? Kind of leaning towards like letting this Arcanine survive here. Actually, no, because he's going to get die to a what's it called. We have to protect him. With the protect. He's gonna die to a rock side from a shuffle in the room. It really does sturdy. So Arcanine's gonna come with the protect. We're gonna allow our Latios to go down here and pull out a solar Pokemon like Scissor. Which is really nice. So Shadow Seed comes through. Bye Latios. Thanks for coming out. Latios gone. Which is totally fine. Rock side's gonna poke again. And we're just gonna go for it. So I think I have to bring out my uh I think I have to bring out my boy uh Scissor here. Drop a bullet punch, take out the uh shuffle, and then roll into a will o wisp burn onto that uh I'll tell that dust no more. I'm not trying to do it. You know, get a burn, start chipping off some damage. Seems like a good turn for us. Really good turn. We still have our guava berry, which is really good. So by bullet punch here, we just we just take out this uh, shuckle, no problem. And we'll really be sitting pretty in the battle because we still have Gyarados in the back end. Gyarados, money Pokemon. Love that guy. So especially if we can waste out these trick room turns, we get out a faster Pokemon in the back end. Scissors not too bad in the trick room here, but he's pretty much just sitting here with first turn priority music. So let's see what this guy does. You know, because a burn on Dust Noir. Could be solid. Could be solid. It's already minus one on our special attack board. Throw a burn on it, which I think it's physical attacking now. It's using physical moves. The Shadow Sneak's gonna poke here, and that's gonna bring out our lovely Aquab Berry. Our lovely Aquab Berry. Yes, sir. So we're gonna go up to close to close to green here, right? Yeah. 95 HP. Mwah. That is lovely. That is lovely. Bull Punch flies. We're gonna say bye bye, Shuckle. This thing's annoying. Yo, Shuckle's so good. Shuckle's so good with the power trick and the trick room. Love it. That was a great play by him, but we, we kind of uh, figured it out at the end there. We're just gonna come through here and we're burning on this dust. So gorgeous. We get some chip damage rolling on him. More importantly, we're gonna neglect a lot of damage coming in with Shadow Sneaks. That's huge. Lovely little burn. Lovely little burn. That's why I love this arc. Just when you think he's dead, he pops in the Guava Berry and he gets more HP. Like, dude, it's so good. This setup is so good with him. So good with him. Let's see who he goes into from here. Is it gonna be another slow Pokemon? It's gonna be slacking. It's slacking. Yeah, dude, this Pokemon's kinda scaring me. I'm gonna burn him. I'm burning him. I'm burning him and I'm going to... Do I set up a Sword Chance? 
I think I just protect this turn. Now, you know, we're going for an exit. We're going to try to deal some good old damage over onto him. I was thinking of setting up a Swords Dance, but I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Let's see what it does, dude. Slacking's nice. He's type nice with it. And he's going to end up protecting. You little biscuit. What's Dustin Noir going for? Dustin Noir's going to curse himself. He is going to curse himself. So he's going to drop half HP. And he's going to curse my Arcanine. That's totally fine. That he curses my Arcanine. I'd rather have that than a Sizzler. Will the Wisp comes out here. Flop. And uh, I think I'm just going to bullet punch into Dustin Noir. Take him out. And uh, throw a burn onto that slacking. Yeah, because Trick Room's almost done with Scourge, but Curse is going to start chipping up some damage, which, which we do not like. Oh, that's ugly. That's some ugly damage. That's some ugly damage. So Trick Room's gone, and this thing's toxic. Oh, God. Oh, God. This thing's guts. He's guts. He's ready to roll. Thank God we didn't burn him. Thank God we didn't burn him. Uh, What do we do? Flamethrower and Bull Punch? Yeah, Shadow Sneak's going to come in hot anyway, so we're just going to take him out and Flamethrower. Wow, yo, this slacking is looking a little scary. We just have to get rid of this. I should have doubled down into the uh, Dust and Mark because we can't allow him to pop another trick room. Now we got to hope that this bull punch takes him out. Okay, he's going to swap. I'm cool with that. He's going to swap. Who's he going to go into? Please show me somebody that doesn't take bull punch too well. Weezing. Weezing comes out of here. Smart swap by him. Solid swap by him. Solid swap by him. He's going to be able to soak that up all day. And he's going to take out my technician ability, you little buttery biscuit. Flamethrower's gonna poke through here, and this gut shot is gonna do me dirty. EQ. Oh, that's why. It's a beautiful turn by him. But he doesn't have Trick Room anymore. And that thing's not levitated, so that's some big old damage. That's some big old damage on this reason. I'm cool with that. I can bull punch in that slot. I can bring out my Gyarados right here. We can get rolling. Well, obviously, can't bull punch anymore. He's thriving with that little citrus berry. Right? Or is that a guav? It's a citrus. Poison gonna chip away. This thing is guts. It's doing some big damage. Doing some big damage. But Gyarados can come out here. Intimidate's not going to poke just yet. And from here, I think we could just freely protect my Scissor. Wait, do I protect my Scissor or do I double down into him? You know what? I'm just going to... Mm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do here? It's tough news. It's tough news. I think we just protect my Scissor. I think we just protect my Scissor. I want to protect the Scissor. Just in case he wants to protect the Slacking. We'll see how he rolls out here. Yeah, he's got, oh no, he's gonna, oh, he protects the Weezing, he protects the Weezing, we like that, we like that, he protects the Weezing, I thought he was protecting the Slacking, Waterfall pokes through here, that's some good old damage, one more Waterfall, we'll take him out, and we get a flinch, yo, GG's, yo, wrap it up, wrap up this battle, wrap up this battle all day, I don't want to count on Bull Punch taking that thing out, so I'm just gonna do this, and I'm just gonna switch, I play all day, it's my play all day, baby, wrap this battle up, wrap this battle up, he's gonna protect the Slacking anyway, we already see that happen. We already see it happen. And if he doesn't, Slacking just dies. So we're going to target that thing down. That's a huge play for us. That's a huge play for us with that full inch. But that pretty much just solidified the battle. And we're going to look to go 2 0. We are going to go 2 0 here. Battle was canceled. Bang, 2 0. Let's go grab ourselves that lovely perfect right here. What is this right here, ladies and gentlemen? What is this? We're going up against a Dark Ride team. I got to give him credit. He has a really cool team. He's got Torkoal, Typhlosion, Dark Rai, Magnum, which everybody loves. I love that Pokemon so much. And then uh, Metagross alongside with Crobat. So how should I play this one? I feel like we got to set up some screens here. Let's get some screens rolling out here. Screens, Gyarados is obviously going to come in here. Gyarados is just too good. Or we can lead a Pokemon like Latios, which could be solid. Here. We can take some speed control. We kind of get looking to go that way, but I kind of am digging uh, maybe even Arcanine as lead. Now nah, we're going to go Gyarados. I don't think we bring Arcanine if we have Alkazam setting up screens. Then we're going to bring Scissor in the back end because, you know, Scissor's where it's at. And then last but not least, do we go Togekiss or Latios? I'm leaning towards Togekiss here. I really like Togekiss. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. And more importantly, grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. I'm kind of hoping he brings the Dark Ride. He does! And Chester, who is going to be the Crobat. What a lovely name for a Crobat. Chester. <laughs> I love it. We're going to bring out Double Spoons and Gary to Gyarados. I think it's going to be inner focus, so it's not going to get touched with that. And we're just going to set up a Reflect or a Light Screen. It's my play. What is Dark Ride? I feel like Reflect's going to be your play. Reflect? Long time with a Dragon Dance setup? Run it. Run it. D Dance. He might Tailwind here, which is fine. He's going to drop a Sucker Punch, and it's going to fail. It's going to fail. That's gorgeous. So Reflect's going to come out here. So he was going to go straight after my Alakazam. We love it all day. We're going to be able to drop that. And this thing's going to Nasty Spot. So this thing's special attacking? What? What is it doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So we know we outspeed. We're going to set up a... Uh, we're just going to go for an Ice Fang and set up a Light Screen at this point. He's nasty plot, and that's looking scary. It's looking real scary. 
That's looking real scary. So we're gonna set up the light screen. We're gonna make my Pokemon really bulky. And I'm not gonna worry about this dark guy for a little bit. You know, Chester over here is set up with the ice fly. So he needs to go. We need to tell this boy to go home. Ice Fang flying. Oh, send it that way. And we're gonna say, oh, dude, I, I want to say get out of here. But we're not. Light screen's gonna fly through here. And we're gonna see what happens. We have screen set up, which is gorgeous. And we're gonna see what he wants to go into here. He's gonna go into an air slide. So yeah. He's gonna chip up some damage. But Light screen should help us out. Yeah. Light screen helps us out tremendously. He's gonna go for a hypnosis. And what he doesn't know is my boy Gary the Gyarados over here is rocking, uh, He's rocking a lumberry, so he can try to put me to sleep all he wants. He can try to put me to sleep all he wants. It's fine. Now we're sitting in such a good position. Both screens set up. We're going to be able to take out this Crobat here, unless he sucker punches me. Which I still feel like we, we should be able to eat up, right? Which he doesn't sucker punch. So Waterfall's going to fly here. I'm going to say bye-bye to Darkrai. No problem, yo. Darkrai, get on out of here. This guy wants to bring Mythical. That's fine by me. My, my Dragon Dance characters will rip up into him. Side shot flying there. We're gonna say bye bye to Crobat, and this pretty much is gonna be a sweep, dude. This battle's over with. This battle's gone. We're, we're 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 taking it off. We just got like a lap lead, and we're just like cruising to victory. It's like when you it's like when you're playing Mario Kart, and you're in first, and you have a banana and a sound horn, so like nothing can stop you. He wants to throw a red shot at you. You're just gonna drop your banana. He wants to throw a blue shell at you. You're gonna drop your banana. You're gonna pop your sound. Horn. Bye bye blue shell. That's that, that's that's where we're sitting at right here. He's gonna go Torkoal. He's gonna go Maginium. Maginium? Is that how you pronounce it, right? That's a cool Pokemon. I feel like it should be bigger. Look, okay, it looks so tiny and stubby right now. <laughs> Which is hilarious, but we're just gonna drop this, and I'm just gonna go straight into a waterfall. Straight into a waterfall. He lovely did the waterfall. Torkoal's a cool Pokemon, too. I always liked Torkoal ever since it was in, uh, in Gen 3. I always liked it. But Waterfall's gonna poke here, and he's gonna be able to soak that up due to the drought. Out, really helping us him out there. Sashak's also gonna fly here and not gonna be able to take this out, but still do a decent amount of damage. We have screen set up, which is gorgeous, and ancient power's gonna fly. That should be easy. Coverage move. We got screens. Look at that. Mwah. Lovely eats. Lovely eats. And of course, our opponent gets lucky here and gets all the stat boosts in the world. The stat boosts are flying here. Stat boosts are flying. Turtle's gonna go for an inferno and he misses it. Okay, I apologize for that one. That's a little rough there. That's a little rough, but we're going to take out Maginium, and we're going to drop a side shot. And we're hoping we get the sweep. We're hoping we can sweep out here, because Maginium's dead here. We just need Torkoal to either die here, or I need my Alakazam soaking up a shot. Which, I don't know if he can. We have the light stream, but the drought's really going to, like, bring up the damage. Side shot comes through here. Built, and we just take him out like that. What a way to end today's video. Alakazam gets a crit and clutches it up. He's super, super strong. Great with the screens, and we grab ourselves a perfect record. This support Alakazam team is super, super strong. You get Alakazam out there and set up screens, your whole team is bulky and they can legit just run the battle. We got ourselves a perfect record for today and got to show off every single Pokemon besides Tokus. We actually, didn't we bring Tokus in, in the last battle? I think we did. We just didn't get to use it because Gyarados and Alakazam just absolutely ran it. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.